So just to give you a quick walkthrough of the tool, this is the tool which went live on the production side of NRCS and its website is wqiagscgoe.usda.gov and the way this tool works, you start with selecting the state you are working in. So I will just go for a test run just to California. Based upon the state, you select the county which you are located in. You can enter your HUC number. HUC number is the basically hydraulic, hydrologic soil unit code, which is, can be about 10 digit to 18, 8 digit or 12 digit. Then you define the field, okay, field number we are working in any field description. The main purpose of these parameters are that if you want to keep track of how the water quality is improving on a particular field, you want to basically keep a good description of different factors which define that particular field. So enter the acres. You know, this is the project date when you are trying to monitor, you are trying to evaluate the water quality and little description. So I will say test run. And then you start with selecting the parameters. Here is the slope interaction. You click on the slope interaction and it asks you to select the slope and I'm going to go in the middle range, 5 to 10 percent slope, and hydrologic soil K group, again the middle range, moderately to high runoff, and K factor, you know, again the moderate erodibility factor, and that's how, you know, once you have that, all this thing is automatically transferred here. And then you select the organic matter content of your field, and again I'm going to go in the middle range, Four or four to six percent, or yeah, let me go to four to six percent just to, you know. And then here is the beauty of the tool that we have defined this tool based upon the cover, cover vegetative cover, rather than a particular crop you are doing on the uh, growing on your field. And this has facilitated to use it for a variety of cropping systems, vegetable crops or fruit crops or orchard or any type of crop system you might be using on your field. So once you have selected, it already comes back with the state and county and then you select the closest weather station and then it automatically populates the average monthly rainfall you might have on you will have you have from this weather site and then you basically define the vegetative percentage cover low medium high the paper defines how low medium high or even the help help meaning help, help document attached to this tool defines how we define low medium high so I will go a couple of few months low and then start March or April medium, medium in, in March, April, then we go high, some sort of typical cropping calendar for California with single crop. And so I put that in and here comes the basically that ranking which I have assigned based upon the uh, selection of rainfall and vegetative interaction. Another thing I want to point out is, you know, you can, this tool allows you to do estimation or you know, for running this model for an entire year, which is the current situation, or for a particular month or a season. You know, if you want to have a sort of a variation how, how the water quality could be during a particular cropping season or dry season or anything, you can go and select those months. Now here the Newton management basically you select and I, I'm going to select the land grant university recommendation to start with, being the medium 
and then nitri nitrogen and phosphorus timing uh, sources and timing and now here I'm going to say uncomposted manure pre-growing season not very good same thing for phosphorus uncomposted organic uh, pre-growing season not very good so and then you select the soil uh, conditions when you're applying and I'm going to say surface broad banded doing or broadcasted or incorporated whatever you might be doing you know so surface broadcasted I'm going to do really bad scenario here so that we can improve it by using better conservation practices and then basically we come to the tillage factor and tillage also we have no tails multi multi or conventional till with stir value and select that and then pest management also I'm going to do basic IPM and by selecting these parameters we get a ranking a water quality index which is 4 5.42 at the scale of 10 so it's you know we were expecting it to be that way because we assigned the you know here the selection for nutrient management was rather you know on the low end so in addition to that you basically can change these numbers by by so selecting either if you are doing the irrigation these are the options for irrigation from sprinkler to you know flooding or in, even with the tile drain system which you basically do tile drain system with you know standard density and drainage water management system so if you have that thing going on you can select those and it will impact the water quality index another thing I want to show here is the conservation practices we have incorporated bunch of conservation practices into this tool which you can select and that will adjust water quality index for with and without conservation practices like here after I selected the conservation practice for you know grass it basically changed from you know from 5.42 to 7.19 so this is and just to give you an example here how this can you can work it for a season if you go and this is for the entire year if you are working want to go and see how the water quality will affect for a particular season you can go and say I want to do for season just from April to August and we will see the number going up because that was the time when you know we were covering having a crop cover good crop cover another thing which this pro tool provides is you can sort of produce a report and you can save it for future references and print it so you know this is the tool basically very simple and easy to use tool 